I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. We got you doing fantastic today. Fun video with the daring on uh, and trying to rank up in ranked here. But uh, let's get right to it on the map Trident. But uh, as always, before we begin, if you see value in the channel, like, subscribe, bell button below, and appreciate all the support, building the community, and have a blast learning about tactics and procedures. So let's get right to it. Daring, one of my favorite destroyers. If you don't know what it is, the last, the largest, and the most advanced torpedo carrying destroyers of the UK Navy. Daring class ships evolved from the previous class battle. These destroyers carry three 114 millimeter twin mounts of dual purpose guns and three 40 millimeter twin AA machine guns. Upon commissioning, HMS Daring joined the fleet between 1952 and 1960. The destroyer took part in campaigns and military exercises and participated in rescue missions to save inhabitants of the island of Silophilonia for the consequences of an earthquake. So right here, right off the bat, shooting the Marceau plane off and also the Dragnar. We are not going to play two versus one, so good tactics for and uh, very good strategy and tips about being a good destroyer player is know when to pick your battles. As you can see right there, being engaged by two destroyers that are heavy in uh, gun power is something you don't want to mess with. Marceau, one of the best destroyers I believe in the game for DPM, and Ragnar is also a bullier of destroyers because uh, think about it, he's got 30,000 HP as you can see this guy built for. He's got one of the biggest guns in the game for a destroyer, 152 millimeter guns I believe, and also very good accuracy, so, and also 7.5 kilometer radar. So again, things that stack up against you in the daring, especially since I'm the only destroyer on this side and they got two versus one, you want to basically pick your battles and not uh, go right off the bat. Now, you can see my initial positioning right here. I didn't go right into the... the um, this is arms race, by, uh, by the way. Um, I did not drive straight into a cap and go to my death. I mean, like Navy SEALs say, don't rush to your death. I'm the same way. Don't rush into a cap or spawn or whatever you know is an objective. Don't rush right in the way. You just give yourself some time to actually reassess, regroup, uh, to figure out where is the enemy at so you can make the best coordinated decision. Uh, you can see they also have single launch torps for the, the uh, British style kind of cruiser line and very awesome i like that idea that the single launch torpedoes gives you options um to treat them like just like another gun you know the, the torpedoes can, you can shoot them all in a straight line or shoot them in any direction you want single file um and i really enjoy that that's a great aspect of it i also like the quick smokes as you can see right here no need for me to take unnecessary damage go ahead and pop the smoke i get these quick smokes quick cooldowns they they last uh, roughly about let's see here 30 ish plus seconds uh you can see right there so just enough for me to get a couple uh, kind of uh, HE spams going and then get out of there. You don't want to hang around in the magnet of smoke clouds that I always call torpedo magnets. You don't want to just sit in here and hang out because they just, like I said, they are just an invitation to say torp me and then I get caught uh, in the wrong position and get shot at. I'm also reversing uh, into certain areas, into caps or whatever, into a position that allows me to give myself the ability to accelerate out of a situation or a problem or a mistake that I do. Other great techniques are, uh, right there. Again, I like the fact that the gun reloads are amazing in the daring. You notice I don't have fearless brawl or anything. I think the, the way the recommended build from the game says is just to build for maybe AFT and that's it. And it gives you enough reload. I mean, look at the reload we're getting in about two seconds. That's all you really need. Uh, in these days for daring, especially the amount of fires. We, look, we just started two fires on the Ohio there, and that's our goal is to start as many fires as possible. Again, as a good destroyer player, you're drawing fire. Look at that. All my battleships are in the back. Uh, Des Moines is hiding behind an island. Great. And guess what? Who's all shooting at me? I got a Marceau. got an Ohio. I got a uh, Ragnar. Everybody, literally everybody's shooting at me. Why? Because that's your role. Your role as a destroyer player is to literally... Uh, absorb damage and distract people and boom kill battleships great job see i'm doing every single thing i could think of uh that a destroyer player should be doing you should be out there spotting you should be out there drawing fire you should be out there taking on destroyers you should be burning down battleships you should be torping uh, battleships there's the great techniques that i've learned from other great destroyer players that these are the roles you're supposed to be as a destroyer player uh, especially in these competitive kind of rank style gameplays because uh, the team is heavily reliant if you don't realize it the team is heavily reliant upon the destroyer player and that's why i enjoy it so much because of the impact that you do receive and i believe daring does a great job at satisfying all those requirements because it, it has literally everything you need for every given situation you have great concealment 6.0 awesome it's not as good as Shimakaze or, or uh, Gearing that can get down to 5.6 or 5.9, but it only takes another 0 0.4, 0 0.3, or 0 0.1 kilometers to drive into that engagement to reveal that enemy destroyer. You've got torpedoes, obviously, to prevent you from uh, getting rushed by 
cruisers or battleships, as you saw the Ohio do right there. Uh, but you can, they're not the greatest range. They only go to 10 kilometers. So really more of a last minute defensive weapon, as well as if you can get in close enough without being radared, you can use them for torping fun. The other ones, you can see the gun power on this thing starting great. Um, uh, and you can notice we just got the combat, combat scout uh, achievement because guess what we're doing? We're out scouting and spotting targets so people can shoot on. That's our role. Going back to the gun power, look at the gun reload. It's 1.7 now with just adrenaline rush uh, kicking in as well as, and there's another fire, as well as just being able to have these base, a good base reload. So I'm surprised Daring doesn't get better reloads and or higher DPMs like Marceau, but maybe because it doesn't have an extra set of guns. If it did, it'd be overpowered. And uh, we're getting shot out again. Uh, so the gun reload is very good for what it is, and I haven't even put Fearless Brawl on it. So just having that very basic uh, you know, XP. Oh, and we burned down a Petro. Look at that. Another, a cruiser killer right there. So, um, yeah, but the gun reload is good as it is right now because you can spend those other points, I believe, in other areas because you're relying on basically just spotting and just providing enough gun power reload and, and just really getting the ability to pop in, pop out of that smoke, torp, and give those, um, and notice that there's no more radar cruisers in the area, so I can go in and start torping this Mecklenburg, which causes them to do all kinds of um, awkward maneuvering, which is great. You gotta avoid the torpedo somehow, right? And that's another uh, a dreadful thing that a battleship player has to deal with, is a a, uh, a destroyer out there in the flanks, torping, just like I'm doing right now. Look, I love these single torps right here. Look, I'm treating it just like I'm shooting one salvo at a time. And I'm going, nah, he's going to probably turn, so I'll let me lead him a little bit. And I like how those the single torp reloads. Let me know your comments if you like that kind of style gameplay where the single torps. And it still gives you the option of switching to spreads if you like. Again, the problem is they only go to 10 kilometers, which means you got to get a little bit close and a little uncomfortable for me unless there's no radar in the area or aircraft or CVs in the day of, and also in the day of submarines. So daring is great for, I would believe, more of the rank competitive without subs and CVs. Well, obviously, with subs and CVs these days, no destroyer is safe. So I still I like this. Now, notice the Mecklenburg's probably got Hydro up and running, and he's probably avoiding it pretty well right there. So that's the downside of these slow kind of whatever uh, torpedoes there is the legendary buff that allows you to focus more on torpedo uh builds so i believe it cuts your correct me if i'm wrong i think it cuts your um concealment down even more to focus on the torpedo i have to look that up but uh it's pretty that legendary mode honestly for me personally i don't think you really need it i don't think i don't look at daring as a torpedo roll boat i think it's more of a gun gunboat kind of go attack other destroyer kind of role because why you have heals that's another great thing that the destroyer as i've always said if you want to be a good gunboat dd and hunter you have to have heals because you're going to absorb damage you're going to expose yourself you're going to make mistakes and the way to correct that is to have those heals and or at least mitigate the damage because you're going to take a lot of punishment and notice look i'm opening up i know the mecklenburg has secondaries yep there they go they're going to open up on us and we're going to take that damage because nowadays and i i wish more and more battleships had better secondaries um unfortunately that'd be bad for me as a destroyer pro but i still it encourages brawling and pushing in because i like the fact that you know battleships have secondaries to rely on to make the game more enjoyable that's why i started playing world of warships for the secondary gunplay uh you can see look at that look at the amount of damage we're getting right here on the superstructure i mean it's not much 281 but where we get those nice hits and look at the reload the reload this looks like a man i'm like a small and or a or a Smolensk or whatever firing from smoke. It just looks like it. I mean, with the amount of reload and gunpowder, especially the adrenaline rush kicking in, it's incredible about what kind of reload you can get in the daring. It's also got the basic hydro from the British where you just detect ships at three kilometers out, not necessarily use like a vampire or a Z-52 kind of style gameplay, but it's there really just to avoid detect uh, being hit by uh, torpedoes, random stray torpedoes here and there, and you just use it as more of a defensive role, I believe, just to kind of screen for torpedoes and for your team you're also screening torpedoes for your team if you're out front i'm also out in the flanks here because i had to run away from the mecklenburg and the ragnar i didn't want to go toe to toe with the ragnar notice here watch this he is shooting at somebody else i don't know who it is but he notices holy crap crap what is this rain of fire coming at me and he'll switch targets he'll actually look at me and go wow a juicier target and this is what you want to do you want to actually draw fire and let your friendly shoot at a uh, destroyer um, scot-free. You know, anyways, uh, we take a hit right there. We slam on the brakes, kind of dodging. Toward, you know, I'm just juking the throttle here. Uh, Daring doesn't have the greatest uh, stop-start feature. It accelerates great for that British-style destroyer stop starting. Uh, no, sorry, to accelerate. Great acceleration, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't have a good stopping speed. And there we go. We got the smoke to get us out of the way. And we killed the last destroyer on the team. Oh, I'm sorry. 
how we kill one of the destroyers on the team, the Ragnar. And man, that thing is so powerful. You can take on a Ragnar that way at distance um, and, and really just uh, obliterate a target with that amount of shots, especially starting that amount of fires. Look, nine fires going. The only way it saved us is you got to shoot a Ragnar outside of his radar range. That way you can pop your smoke, go undetected, and then slam on the brakes and avoid those shots. So right there, awesome. Uh, I really enjoy the daring. Build will be at the end of the screen if you enjoy it. As always, if you like, subscribe bell button below. If you see value in the channel, what we're doing here, as always, thank you guys for being a great uh, audience and a great community out there saying hi when you see me. And it's just fun to play with you guys and have a blast learning and uh, building the community. So as always, hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.